Okay, slot checked and countdown net, pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence 7, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. As a reminder, these are what we have been calling our V-2 minis. The full-size V-2 satellites are designed to be flown on Starship, while V-2 minis have been modified to fly inside of our payload fairing on board Falcon 9. Speaking of Starship, we are looking forward to a second attempt of our first integrated flight test of the rocket and spacecraft as early as tomorrow morning. As with any development testing, the schedule could change, so keep an eye on our social and website for ups updates. And if we do make an attempt tomorrow, the chances of scrubs are high, but whether a scrub or liftoff or a rapid unscheduled disassembly or some combination of all of the above, excitement is pretty much guaranteed. Now at T minus four, just under four and a half minutes, weather is green and the range is ready to support a T zero of 8.50 a.m. Eastern time. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or spacecraft. We should see the strong back begin to, and you can see that on your screen, the clamp arms just below the fairing are opening up. And once those are fully open, then the strong back or the TE can begin to recline away from the vehicle. And it looks like the clamp arms are now fully open and it's very slight, but you can see the TE or the transporter erector is slowly moving away from the vehicle. Now it's going to recline just a little bit right now. And then at T0, it will move even further away from the vehicle to clear the pad as the vehicle lifts off. And it looks like the TE is now fully reclined. Next up at the T minus three minute mark, liquid oxygen loading on the first stage will complete. And stage two liquid oxygen loading should complete at T minus two minutes. And sounds like liquid oxygen loading is now complete on the first stage. So the Falcon 9 first stage is fully loaded with RP-1 and liquid oxygen. And we're now just waiting for LOX loading conclusion on the second stage. Again, that should be at the T minus two minute mark. Again, coming up next at T minus two minutes will be liquid oxygen loading complete on the second stage. Stage two lock load is complete. And there's that call out. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. Now the booster that you see on your screen is flying for the eighth time today, having previously supported SES-22. Ground gas, close out. 
Ice Bases Hakuto R Mission 1, Hispasat Amazonas Nexus, CRS-27, and three Starlink missions. After liftoff and stage separation, the booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, and you can see an amazing view of that on your screen right there. Successfully recovering parts of the rocket allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. Falcon 9 is in startup. And good call out there. This means that the internal flight computers have now taken over the launch countdown and now just waiting for the final call from the launch director. LDE, go for launch. And great news. The launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. So let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 21 V2 mini Starlink satellites into space. T-30 seconds and counting. Teaching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into flight, and Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at 8:50 a.m. Eastern Time. Power and telemetry nominal. And we are throttling down the engines in preparation for max Q. Vehicle supersonic. And just heard that call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic. That means that the vehicle is traveling faster than the speed of sound. We are coming up on max Q here in a few seconds. Max Q. And there's that call out. We've just passed through max, max Q. Now, next up are a few events happening back to back. That will be Miko stage separation, SES 1, and fairing separation. Miko is main engine cutoff. That's where we'll shut down all and of those back. engines. Engine chill has started. That's where we will shut down all of those engines that you see lit up on the vehicle right now. And that'll prepare the vehicle for stage separation. First stage will begin to make its way back down to Earth. Again, we are scheduled to land on a shortfall of Gravitas today. And stage two will continue with SES-1, or second stage engine start one. And that's where we will ignite the MVAC engine on the second stage. Shortly after MVAC ignition, we will also separate the fairing, and the two fairing halves will fall back down to Earth. Those few events coming up here in a few seconds. Miko, stage separation, SES-1, and fairing separation. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. And there we've had Miko's stage separation and the ignition of the MVAC engine. You can see the first stage on your left-hand screen. The grid fins are now deploying with an awesome view of the Earth in the background. The MVAC engine ignited on the second stage. Fairing separation confirmed. And a really cool view of the fairing being separated from the second stage. We will attempt to recover the fairing halves with our recovery vessel, Doug, today.
Some really awesome views with Earth in the background. Again, you are looking at your left-hand side is the first stage, and your right-hand side is the second stage, looking at our MVAC engine. Stage one is currently making its way back down to Earth. And we are scheduled to land on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas today. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. And the V2 Mini Starlink payload is still attached to the second vehicle stage vehicle. Vehicle on nominal trajectory. And good callouts there. As I mentioned earlier today, Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 25th mission this year and second launch of our V2 Mini Starlink satellites. Stage one making its way back down to Earth using the four grid fins, you can see two on your screen, on your left-hand screen, but there are four on the vehicle. These help guide the vehicle back to the landing zone. You also can see some white puffs there. That is the nitrogen gas used for attitude control. And also getting a view looking forward on the vehicle there. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed, manufactured, and operated by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Now, coming up here shortly will be the entry burn for the first stage vehicle. This will be three of nine engines reigniting. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one engine burn startup. And there you can see on your left hand screen, the engines have reignited. This is just under a 20 second burn and helps to slow the vehicle down as it's entering back into the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one, Stage. entry burn, shut down. Stage two, FTS has saved. And you can see that the entry burn has shut down. Now the first stage used to launch our 21 V2 mini Starlink satellites into space today is flying for the eighth time. And it previously supported SES-22, iSpace's Hakuto-R Mission 1, Hispasat Air Amazonas Nexus, CRS-27, and three Starlink missions. Now we're just under a minute away from the landing burn on the first stage. This will be a single engine, the center E9 engine reigniting on the vehicle. The M1D engines have about 190,000 pounds of thrust. So this is just enough, enough thrust to slow the vehicle down right before touchdown. Stage one, transonic. And you heard that call out, stage one is transonic. This means that the vehicle is traveling near the speed of sound. Now we will have second engine cut off. Start of terminal guidance. Very shortly after stage, stage one landing. Stage one landing burn. And there's that landing burn startup. So let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Landing like deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And some cheers there. The stage one vehicle has touched down on a shortfall of Gravitas. We've got some really awesome daytime views of that landing. Down.
nominal orbit insertion. And great call out there. We had second engine cutoff one, as well as a call out for good nominal insertion. Now this landing for Falcon 9 marks our 186 overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And with confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff, that wraps up our coverage for now. Be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink satellite deployment. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Expected loss of signal, Bermuda. Thank you.